Well, today is day 33 of the partial government shutdown. Two bills in the Senate propose ways to end the stoppage. One reflects President Trump's demand for border wall funding in exchange for temporary protections for some immigrants. The other is a measure already passed by the Democratic-controlled House to reopen the government through February 8th. It does not allow money for a border wall, but gives bargainers more time to talk. Neither bill is expected to advance. Well, hundreds of thousands of government workers are on furlough because of the partial shutdown. And we've shared with you uh, their stories and how others are helping them survive. New this morning, CBS 46's Brittany Edney goes deeper after uncovering the personal blog of one cancer fighter who's also a furloughed federal worker. To reject this proposal, Democrats would have to prioritize political combat with the president ahead of federal workers. While politicians in Washington battle over the month-long government shutdown, there were no serious negotiations with Democratic leaders. Here in Atlanta, one furloughed worker is in a different fight. It could be your next door neighbor. A fight for her life. And I just learned last week my tumor marker increase when we thought we had it under control. When I stumbled across Chrissy's blog, I saw the difficult decisions she's facing. Pay the mortgage or chemotherapy bills for her breast cancer. Still receiving treatment and I don't know how much longer before my treatment will be interrupted. Imagine starting 2019 off with no paychecks, a new deductible to meet, and an uncertain future. She should be focusing on her treatment not wondering when she'll get paid. How many paychecks can you lose? And people are saying, save for rainy day. Well, those that know me, it has been raining since August of 17. And now it's storming. <laughs> the last thing she needs is more stress. It's really, really, <sighs> it's awful. While the chemo works to kill her cancer, she waits for someone to deliver a cure for the stalemate in Washington. Then she can focus on getting better, not just getting by. In the studio, Brittany Edney, CBS 46 News. We're staying on top.